Hey, hey, Witch Angel Nakora here, and welcome back to Yandere Simulator, the prequel, the visual novel. Now, if you remember last time, we um, ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. So, we're going to hit continue, we're going to load our save file, and we're going to continue on with the story. Here we go. 25th of March, Tuesday, 6.15 a.m. Let's draw the volume a little bit. My ears are starting to hurt. My, my hear, I have a hearing, I have a sensitivity to sounds. I have a hearing sensitivity problem, and um, it kind of comes with the autistic thing sometimes. I mean, not all autistic people. Excuse me, I really didn't mean for that to happen. Not, not all autistic people have a sound sensitivity like I do. It just depends on what side of the spectrum they're on. Just to clarify. <clears throat> I really didn't mean to burp on camera. That's super embarrassing. Ayano woke up. <sighs> what a nice dream I had. Ayano keeps looking to the ceiling for three minutes while she daydreams. <sighs> Sounds like me in the morning whenever I wake up. I don't even want to get out of bed. <clears throat> I need to listen to music. This is weird. It's the first time I actually wanted to listen to music. Listen to Angel of the Morning. Oh. Ayano gets her headphones, grabs her phone, and listens to Angel of the Morning. I... I actually listened to this music before. In a movie. Mom made me watch a, a movie about a guy with... Some kind of regeneration powers. Wearing a red suit. Ow! The girl likes Deadpool! Ooh! I love me some Deadpool. Deadpool is fucking awesome! I think the name of it was... Dead Punch. Close. Or... Red pool? <laughs> I love this. Ayana walked to the kitchen and turned on the toaster. Two minutes later, she grabbed some toast from it. <laughs> There's supposed to be a part of you where, where um, she's supposed to put bread in the toaster first. <laughs> you know what they say. All toasters toast toast. Yeah, but they also toast uh, pop tarts, bagels, um, just whatever you put in it. Just don't ever put micro uh, metal in a toaster or try to stick yeah, a fork in a toaster to get your bread out of it. That's a reference from Dumb Ways to Die, by the way. <clears throat> Ayano eats the toast. Oh, come on, you don't put bread or jam or even marmalade on it? Oh, come on. I could go for some toast with some strawberry jam on it right now. Ugh. Strawberries are my weakness. At 6.45 a.m., Ayano goes to Akademi. <sighs> it's so nice to be in love. At Akademi at 7.05 a.m., Ayano arrives at the school. Kokona wanted to meet me, wanted me to help her today, so... Hey, friend! Ayano sees Kokona near her. Um, hey. Kokona smiles to you. Aww. Ayano will remember her decision. I said to you that I need your help, right? Yes. I'll explain to you. End of chapter two, something called love. Oh. <laughs> Now we're on to chapter three. Helping coconuts. I mean, coconut. <laughs> Even he calls her coconuts. <laughs> oh man, they made me do my bike horn laugh. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love this game so much. <clears throat> Well, there are two things I need help with. And, well, the first one is... The first one is... Uh, my 
uniform doesn't fit. It's too tight around the chest. Well, no shit, girl. You got, like, double D's already. Good God. How the hell did you get double D's at your age? <sighs> hell, at my age, I was barely fitting into a C cup. Oh, hoo -hoo. I want to get a new uniform, but I can't afford one right now. I guess there's no point in complaining. It's not like if there was anything you could do. I'll try to help you. Don't worry. I'll try to help you. You'll give me a new uniform? Really? I would love that. Maybe there's another uniform from another student around the school. I'll try to find it for you. Thank you so much, Ayana-chan. Ayana goes to another location on the school to see if she can find another uniform. <sighs> Oh man. <laughs> Just how in the hell are you gonna find another uniform unless you have Info Chan's help? <sighs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm sniffling, old bunch. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over this damn cold. <sighs> Coconut will remember that. <laughs> she owes us one. Okay, Ayana goes to the girls' locker room. I won't steal someone's clothes, unless it's my only option. I don't continue to look around. Nothing I can do here. Hmm. I don't know. We're trying to do a, a good route. And stealing's not a good thing. So... The only other option is to ask Info-chan, and we don't get to meet her till later in the game. Um... I... don't know... Oh, screw it! We're gonna steal a uniform! Ayano mm. mm. quickly opens a locker and steals a uniform from it. <sighs> it's the only thing I could do. Ayano will remember her decision. Ayano is walking to Coconut again with the uniform she has stolen. Now, where is she? Suddenly, a uniform falls from a window. Oh, Info Chan! What? Ayano looks at the window which the uniform fell from, and it is closed. I should put this stolen uniform back in the girls' locker room again. Ayana quickly goes to the girls' locker room and puts the uniform in the locker where she got it. Ah, good girl. <clears throat> okay. Who threw this uniform from the window? Ayana gets near Coconut. Well, Coconuts, I mean Coconut, here's your new uniform. No way! This uniform is tailored to my exact measurements! Now I'll finally be comfortable! Thank you so much, Ayana-chan! No problem. Well, this, well, the same thing is also embarrassing. It's for my friend Saki Miyu. Aw, oh, shit. <sighs> We're searching for the bra, ain't we? She lost her bra somewhere at school, and she can't find it anywhere. Please don't ask how she lost it, but can you- I'll help you. Oh my god. Why are we trying to find a bra? <laughs> That's okay. I'll help you. Great! Thank you so much, Ayana-chan! Ayana walks away to try to find a random bra at school. <laughs> oh god! Uh, simple. This is a simple question. Why the frick did Saki have her bra out at school? And didn't didn't everyone notice that her boobs were bouncing to and fro when she's walking? So then her girls hang them up. Come on. I mean, simple, simply put, if she had no bra at school and she was just walking around school, wouldn't her nipples be in? No, I, I am not going to get lewd right now, guys. No. No. My my, my lewd switch is kind of 
turned off right now. Kokono will remember that. Ayano is walking around the school. She sees a boy, however, it is not Taro. Hey, I know this is a random question, but have you seen a bra around here? I'm helping find someone to help, help find that. I'm helping someone to find their bra. You're finding a bra for a friend? I'm just helping. Well, I have seen no bra around. The boy walks away. Come on. I think he's pretty skeptical about <laughs> finding a bra for a friend. Okay. Ayana's phone receives a message. <clears throat> she reads it. The bra is near the confession tree. You know where it is. Ayano tries to call the number to see who it was, but the phone said that the number didn't exist. <sighs> hmm. W what? There's someone following me, but... I better just get the bra near the confession tree, if this is true. Ayano arrives at the confession tree. This tree... Everyone says that if a girl confesses their love to a boy or vice versa, under this tree, they will be together forever. Ayano looks for the bra and finds it. She grabs the bra and goes to Kokona. I found the bra. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Saki OC1! Taro arrives at school. I hope he didn't see us to hand the bra over. He walks near Ayano and Kokona, not noticing the two girls. He goes directly to the plaza. <sighs> He's so cute and handsome, isn't he? Yeah. Awkward silence! Wait, what? End of chapter 3, helping coconuts. I mean, coconut. Oh. Chapter 4, the rivals. Ugh. Now it's gonna get juicier than a freaking ripe tangerine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see here. Uh, do you know him? Or do you have a crush on that boy? I'm going with, do you know him? Do you know him? Yes. Well, um, but they never talk to me even though I'm from his class. But he has a friend. This friend annoys him so much. I don't think you know her, but she acts in like a aggressive way. Oh. I think her name is Osana. I heard her and the boy talking yesterday, and he said her name. Osana. Never heard this name before. But I'm actually going to be honest here. I think she has a crush on him. I mean, she is always near him. Oh, Lord. This is going to be a hard choice. Um, but aren't they friends since our childhood? If she had a crush on him, she would already have told him, right? Well, maybe. I'll meet, I'll meet with my friend Saki now. She'll be so happy that... She will be so... Bleh. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied right now. She will be so happy to know that someone found her bra. Bye, Ayano. Kokona walks away. <laughs> Ayano is standing there just thinking. She was feeling sad. She was nervous. Nervous because she didn't want anyone else to love Taro. Or what she calls... Senpai. I should. I should look for that Osana and see if she has a crush on Taro. Ayano 
Ayano goes to the plaza. Ayano arrives at the plaza. <laughs> Something was wrong. Taro wasn't sitting on the fountain. Or at the fountain. He wasn't at the plaza. <sighs> he must be at the bathroom. I still need to find that Osana. But meanwhile, I should do what my senpai does always do, always do when he is bored. Sit at the fountain. Ayano sits at the fountain and relaxes. Now I'll... What are you doing? Oh shit, it's the ginger bitch herself again. <clears throat> my friend is always sitting here. Where is he? Great, now it's time to react. I must make her see that, that I could be a good friend to her. And then I can know more about her and her crush. Okay, uh... If I do this one, it's gonna be like, ugh. But this one's gonna be, huh? It's gonna be either of these two, it's gonna be a random choice. So, I think we're gonna go with... Well, he is not here. Well, your friend is not here, as you see. I'll wait for him to arrive then. Great. Now is the right time. Alright, um. Are you two more than friends? Are you two our childhood friends? Do you have a crush on this boy? How many weeks are you have you two been dating? I'm gonna go with. Oh, shit. Um. You two are childhood friends. You two are childhood friends. Yes, we are. Oh, so you have a crush on him since your childhood. Yes, I don't mean, know. No, no. I mean, are you stupid, Babaka? Well, it is obvious that she likes him. I won't let anyone be with my senpai. Kokona. Osana. These rivals won't get him away from me. Taro is back. He's going to the fountain. Ayana walks away from the fountain. I, I can't let my senpai notice me for now. Ayana sits on a bench. I don't want to lose my senpai. Her phone rings. Someone is calling her. Hello? The president of the occult club, Okaruto, also has a crush on your senpai. She has a messy shoulder length hair that is all of his dark blue. You don't believe me? Go talk to her. What the fuck? The call ends. <clears throat> Ayano tries to call the number that just called her, but she couldn't. Someone is definitely stalking me. But who could it be? Ayano starts to think. Hmm. I don't know who could. I don't know who it could be. No one I know has a reason to stalk me. Or something like that. I should look for this occult club president. Ayano goes to the cafeteria. I think it's the second floor in that little common area. Hmm. Ayano arrives at the cafeteria. <clears throat> she sees a girl with dark blue hair. It must be her. Ayano goes near the girl. I love Okaruto. She's so... <laughs> if I were to be any character in Yandere Simulator, guys, I would definitely be her because I'm a witch in real life. I love occult stuff. And sometimes I stay up a little too late and I get bags under my eyes like that too. Plus, I love dark, co I love dark colors, dark clothing. <sighs> Anything magical is one of my favorites. <clears throat> Excuse me, but are the are you the occult club leader? Uh, um, yes. D -d -d 
do you want to, to join the club? Um, I'll think about it. In reality, I would. Well, I don't want to talk about this with you, but I'll think about it. Anyway, your name is Okaruto, right? I yes. Uh, oh, this is like a catch-22 right here. Um, I'm going to go with, do you know Taro Yamada? We're not going to go with the crush route right now. <clears throat> do you know a boy named Taro Yamada? Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I don't know a anyone with this name. Oh, anyway, thanks. Ayano walks away. <laughs> she definitely has a crush on him as well. Osana, Kokna, and now this girl. Why? Does Senpai sit in the main character chair, and then his fate and his destiny were set in stone? <sighs> anyway goes to the plaza once again. She sees Osana talking with Taro near the fountain again. Ayano goes near them and without the two of them noticing. That girl literally asked me if I had a crush on you and etc. Weirdo. T -t to be honest, I, I don't think you should be mad at this. I mean, I shouldn't, but I am. What kind of stupid girl is she? I don't even know her name! Is she... Is she talking about me? What? What have I done to her? Hmm. I'll give her revenge. It's my fault, her stupid bitch. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, but Osana has made me want to go the genocide route right now, and I'm going to click, I'll get my revenge. Sorry, I don't like it when um people talk behind my back. I'll get my revenge, and you won't be prepared if I get for it, Osana. Again, Ayano's phone rings. Listen to me, I don't know who you are, but I'll find out who you, you are, and this is how you treat the person who is helping you? Helping on what, exactly? Helping you to find out who are your rivals who want to be with your senpai. <sighs> why, but why are you helping me? This is personal at the moment. I have been watching you for a while now, and I see potential in you, but this is a secret for now. Who are you, and why are you stalking me? Can you stop asking me questions, please? Anyway, I think you should do something with those rivals, or you will lose your precious senpai. I won't lose him to another girl. He will be mine. Doing nothing won't make him fall in love with you. Ayano starts to think. What would she do if she lost her senpai? Would she commit suicide? Which is definitely a big no-no. Or would she kill him? What would she do? Anyway, you should think about this. The phone turns off. Ayano is still thinking. 8.30 a.m. arrives. Everyone goes to their own classrooms. Ayano goes to her classroom. Later at 7.30 at Ayano's house. Ayano lies down on her bed and starts to cry. She was nervous for the first time in her life. S senpai I don't want to. I don't want to lose you. You made my life so much better.
I don't want to see you with someone else. I just want you with me. Ayano continues to cry. She remembers what the mysterious person told her today. Should I... Should I... Kill those rivals? Oh, man. I'm going to. I'm sorry. I know we're supposed to do a, a nice route, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do what I normally do in the real game, and I'm just going to go full. You, you know, gas eye on these bitches' asses. I will kill my rivals for you, Senpai. Ayana will remember her decision. Ayano continues to cry. Later at 1.30. I think we're going to end off here, guys. I'm going to leave y'all with a, a bit of a cliffhanger for the next episode. Oh, man. Even got, it's even got me crying. Oh, this game is so deep. Oh, man, this game is amazing. Stefano, again, you rock. I, I can't give enough props to this game. It's so good. <laughs> I'm going to leave it off here. We're going to continue our uh, decision in the next episode. Which is going to be next week. Because this video is going up on Thursday. <laughs> mm, sorry, I kind of burped. If you like this video, hit that like button faster than you can cast a spell to the face. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Mwah! Stay magical, my friends. And, uh, if you see Osana, slap her in the face. <laughs>